Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. Now from the title and the thumbnail, you know exactly what I'm doing today. And uh, that is using the Shakespeare Catch a Monster fishing rod and reel made for kids. Um, it's two foot long and I'm attempting to use my pike bait. So I've got some Rapala Otis um, and Petto and a twitch bait and I've got a shot of cheap top water whopper plopper and I'm going to see if I can catch a monster on the catch a monster setup now this setup is uh, like I say about two foot just over two foot long and um, I think if I can catch a fish the same size as the setup or bigger then we could definitely class it as a massive win if I can catch a monster on it anyway and uh, what fish in the UK is more of a monster than the pike so as you know, as you can tell by the laws I'm using, that's what I'm going for today. Now, I didn't just use a line that came with this. I mean, it came with a perfect line, actually, for a children's setup. It was probably about six pounds, something like that. So uh, it would have been perfect for kids if you was taking this out and just after some roach with a chance of catching maybe a little um, a mud sucker, a little carp or something. Um, but I've, I've taken that line out and I've put on a 20 something pound braid. I didn't want to go too heavy because um, I still want to be able to cast these baits out. And this seems to be fairly tough, perfect. Got a 24 pound uh, wire trace on there. And then like I say, the sort of medium size baits there for pike. So fingers crossed we'll get some fish. We're gonna rove the canal now, see if I can catch anything. And uh, let's see how we can get on. Right, it's time to get fishing my little catch a monster fishing setup. Let's try and detach it from your rod to begin with. That'd be a good start, wouldn't it? There we go. I've actually just seen a chub um, go past in this particular spot that I'm in. It's a nice sight. I'm about to get a chub. My Chinese cheap water flopper. And that's what I'm going to start off with. This really small bait is obviously a lot better suited to this tiny rod and I should be able to cast it quite comfortably. There we go, clipped it up. Nice big net with me today. Big predator net. This is going to be horrendous. But yeah, there's a chub right there. Chub's coming over to have a look. Did you see that? First cast. Oh, it's horrible trying to reel with my right hand. This is going to be... Horrible session. <laughs> that chub looked at it a few times. If I'd have had a little soft plastic or something and was stalking, I could have had that chub. I'm gonna go with a. Uh... Oh, I wanna go, I want to go for the Otis, but. The petals nice and bright, white, a ghosty sort of colour. I prefer the look of it. So we're going to go with a petto. So we were just fishing sort of a bit of a spot to get a few practice casting. And now I've got used to it, we can go to spots where I expect to find some fish. I hope to. I'll have a couple of casts here actually with this bait with a petto just to see if it was the bait choice that was the issue. <laughs> because of how tiny the rod is. Oh, there we go. We're in. Oh, I lost it. Oh, no. There we go. We've got it again. We're in. We're in. I'm walking backwards. The drag system's horrendous. Please don't come off, please don't come off. Oh no, I've fallen down a hole, I've fallen down a hole. Oh, it's tiny, but we got one. Come on, mate, come on, mate. You're mine, mate. You're mine. Oh, we got one. <laughs> the petto got it done. And we're just started, I'm probably 10 minutes into the session and uh, the petto has 
absolutely nailed. Just get me pliers in my pocket. I always have my pliers in my pocket. I've short pliers in my pocket, and then I have long nose pliers in my bag. That's how I always do it. Come on. There we go. He's going to flip. Let's have a look comparison to the rod. Small pike, but still more than half the size of the rod. Like two thirds of the size of the rod. Let's see if we can get on which is the same size as it. The drag is horrendous on that thing. <laughs> Basically, it's great for small fish, which I think is what it's intended for, for bigger fish. Oh, I almost didn't manage to get the hook set on that. Had to take it twice. But there we go, pike number one. Not a monster in general terms, but a monster for that setup anyway. Let's see if we can get anything bigger. There we go, there we go, there we go. There's another pike. We're gonna boat flip him, I think. <laughs> He's got tangled up in the, in the reed. He jumped into that spot, by the way. Let's untangle him. He untangled him while he was caught up in the reeds. He's got a minnow down his neck. That's cute. Tiny little jack pike. But still, mini monster. Caught on that monster setup. Let him go, he's only a little baby. Surprised I managed to walk up though. That's two for two. Oh, how did I do that? I it hit the water, bounced, and went into the reeds on the opposite bank. I don't think I'm getting that back. It's in thick reeds, I'm talking like. Even if I was fishing, 80 pound braid i don't think that'd pull through they're like the thickest reed you've ever seen and it is right in there grass snake you see him there we go snapped it that's great right Right, seeing as though I've lost my pet owl, I'm going to go with the Otis, which is probably one of my favourite sort of small to medium size baits that I use. I've had some really good fun on the Otis. There we go, because I wanted to get down a little bit. Because I know the Otis does like to rise, it likes to stay really shallow. It's like built well for a really slow retrieve, great for cold waters or pressured waters when sometimes a slow, steady retrieve can just sneak a bite. Well, having the chub weight, I think there's a lot of jacks on here. I've had two jacks so far. So, um, chub weight, fast attach weight. Means I can get that bait down there and work it really quickly, low down in the water. Hopefully get some aggressive takes. Oh, snap. There's a pike right on the opposite bank. Oh, no. Can't see it. I don't want to cast too close to it in case I scare it. It will probably be the biggest one I've had so far this session. If I can get it. Okay, of course I'm getting angsty now. Oh, now I lost it. I did take the bait as well. Come back. Look at that, just twitching on the bottom. Come on. Oh, 
Oh no, go on, we go on. Let's run. Get this hook up. Stay on, stay on, stay on. What a beast. <laughs> I have to run just to try and make sure that I've got a hook set. And only just, and he's, uh, once again, it seems like the small ones are the ones that are getting hooked up. But still, these are like, even the small ones are bigger than half the size of the rod. Right, pliers are still in my pocket. But I didn't see this one. Blinder went slack and he unhooked himself, pretty much. Thanks for that, bud. Did me a favour. Good for my bike. See you later, monster. Oh, there we go on the drop on the drop oh it come off oh what a take it was a good size fish too massive swirls oh it was a good size fish i can't believe that oh boy it's a good size fish he even pulled the sort of joint out a little bit in the back end Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you know, my rod's probably big enough to catch some on it. Oh no, and because the drag's so loose on it all the time, I can't pull it in. Uh, we got it. Yeah, boy. Well, definitely no chance of me catching that pike now that come off. Oh, man. Oh, that didn't sound very nice with all the water in it. There we go. Oh no. Did you see that? Little pipe right under my feet just nailed it. So I was about to take it out of the water. Whoa! Whoa! Hit. Did you see it? Oh, stay on, stay on. Run back, make sure that hook is in. It's not a huge fish yet again, but... Oh, it's a chub. Get in my net. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to get tangled up. Now, screw it. Oh, and he unhooked himself. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful chub. Oh yeah, I'm gripping them. Sometimes I do that with um, chub if they're really lively. As long as you're supporting them. Beautiful chub. There is the catch a monster rod. That's a decent chub next to that. Look at that. Thank you guys for watching. I had a really fun time using this little rod. If I was using a regular setup, I actually would have had a really good day. I probably would have had maybe five or six pike. Um, but in the end, we just managed a few. Uh, no monsters, which is what we're really open for. Um, but for the size of the rod, they were some cracking fish really, weren't they? And I was surprised I managed to get the hookups that I did. Realistically, I probably shouldn't have caught anything. Uh, thankfully, those VMCs uh, that are on those baits were really, really nice and sharp. And I managed to land a few. Uh, if you want to check out more content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. And if you want to check out my social media accounts, I'll leave them in the link in the description below. And I'll catch you guys later.